Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, All Things Keto with Kelsey. I'm Kelsey and I am sitting out on my new patio here. In this video, I'm gonna go through my, my prep from my Couch to 5K program finish to my actual run of the 5K. So today is July 15th and I officially ran my race. Um, it is done and I feel really proud about it. Day one of training without my app, and I officially ran 3.25 miles in like 37 minutes. So I did it for the very first time. I ran the 5k without stopping, so that's pretty good. I mean, I guess I did have to stop for two cars on the road, so a tiny break in there, but. Day one of training for the next two and a half weeks for my official race. <sighs> Feeling good, exhausted, and ready to keep going, I guess. That was hard, really hard, but I just kept telling myself I'm gonna do it today, and I did. On two of my training for my 5K that is in two weeks from today, I ran for 37 minutes and ran 3.3 miles. So, another good run in the books and, whew, exhausted. But, feels good to have it done and to say that I did it again. Super buggy today. I just went on my third run to prep for my race this coming weekend. It's hot. It's muggy. I'm having a hard time breathing today. Um, yeah, so I just took the longest break of running, like days in a row not running. I think I'm four days from my last run because we got major, major heat wave here. It was like 95 and so humid, so. I'm beat. I ran 2.9 miles today. Uh, not sure. Took me 33 minutes and 31 seconds. So I guess my game plan for this week is I think I'm going to run at least Monday. I don't know. So today's Saturday. I might try to run tomorrow as well as Tuesday and Thursday, and then I'll race on Saturday. So I'll either get two or three more runs in, um, depending on how I'm feeling, and we'll see how it goes. So I don't feel like I'm making a lot of progress right now, but I did run, and that's what counts. So I'm headed out for my run. This should be my third or fourth. I think it's my fourth run to prepare for my to prepare for my 5k it is raining here and the really the only question is should I be wearing a coat or just kind of be prepared to be soaked so anyway I left the coat at home so we'll see how it goes um, but it didn't look like it was gonna be clear at all today so I'm going anyway it is raining and I'm just gonna run my three miles and get home so here goes nothing run is complete I guess I ran 3.23 miles in like 37 minutes, so whew, I, I went a different route today and there's lots of like gradual small hills and um, but like my typical run is like a mile gradually going downhill then a mile gradually coming back uphill and then just um, everything else. So, um, everything in between for the third mile. So this was just kind of gradual the whole way around and that was really nice. Um, I went on a side road so that there would be less traffic with all the rain. It has not stopped raining the whole time. So I am soaked to the bone. Really glad I didn't wear a jacket because that would have been really hot and sticky. So 
yeah. So, I'm gonna go back and drink some electrolytes and wait till I'm hungry to eat and we will see you next time. I am done with my last race before, with my last run before my 5K race on Saturday. I, I did well on the first mile. I made it under nine minutes for the first time, which is great. And then the second mile, my back started really just like getting really tight and I kept having to stop to stretch a little bit. And so I ended up walking for probably a quarter of a mile. Um, and then I started running again. So I ran 2.9 miles in 35 minutes. And I don't know what my time on my other miles are, but you know, not the best. But I'm done with my prep. Now I just need to get to Saturday. It's race day. We are on our way to um, the 5K and I'm gonna run it. So it is sprinkling and how it goes. I'll keep you updated. Are you ready for your race? Yeah. He's so excited. And that is how the run went, and I'm super proud to be done. Um, I got myself a new t-shirt for running the race, and uh, you know, I just wanted to take this moment to just let you know that even if some goal seems so impossible, it's not. You know, you just have to set your mind to it and start practicing towards it. And I hope that in this video, something encouraged you to push yourself um, and get working towards those goals that you are um, maybe putting off working towards. I didn't do worse than I have been doing on my practice running, so that was really good. Um, I did not make a lot of progress. Um, like, a, I didn't make up a bunch of time that I've been trying to, but I'm really proud. I ran through the whole thing. I had a couple of really slow parts where I was like, I need to walk, and I was like, no, I'm going to push through. I'm gonna make myself walk. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna make myself run. So I'm really proud that I crossed that finish line. It was like 75 degrees and I don't know what the humidity was, but it was insane. I was drenched with sweat. And I mean, I've been sweating a lot with, um, <laughs> with my runs, but this was, this was probably my sweatiest run. So it was just a small town run and it was really enjoyable to see a whole bunch of other people running and, um, yeah, so my my husband and I were at the bottom of the list, uh, so that was a little bit, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter what my time was. I did, I, I completed my goal, so I'm really proud of myself for that, and I'm so glad that my husband did it with me. It was really nice to have the company and not have to do it by myself. Um, but yeah, I think the biggest hiccup was that I left my earbuds in the car by accident and it was too late to go grab them by the time I realized it. And so I didn't have my music. I think if I had my music, I would have been able to 
get a pace and keep up with it, uh, I think it would have gone a lot better. So um, anyway, so hopefully next time if I do another race here at some point, I will remember my earbuds and um, that will help me get through it a little bit better. So it was a lot of fun running with the group and especially my husband. So hope wherever you're at today, you're having a great day and I'll see you soon, friends.